Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. What's up, Calvary? My name's Jared, and I got your next word of the day here, and the topic is gonna be on anger. So if you got your Bibles or your Bible app, you can open it to Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. And these are red letters, so Jesus is speaking here. Uh, so let's start. You have heard it said that to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. Okay, I'll just stop right there. I myself uh, have never murdered anybody, and I think it's safe to say that uh, all of you watching right now probably haven't either, or you've never been caught. Uh, so we're good there. Let's, let's continue in verse 22. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. And I've been guilty of that many times. But let's talk about uh, righteous anger, okay? Not to be confused with anger. Uh, we see a story in the Bible where Jesus got angry with the money changers in the temple and he's flipping uh, tables over the corruption. That's righteous anger. Um, I'm sure we've all, you know, uh, seen on the news and all over social media, just all the injustice that happens all over the world. And we get angry, we get frustrated because we wish there was something we can do. That's righteous anger, okay? In this passage, though, it's talking about anger without a cause, okay? So, uh, so you, you're driving in your car and the car in front of you is just going way too slow or the, uh, another car cuts you off. If your knee-jerk reaction is to just flip that person off and, and curse at them in your car, okay, that's, that's wrong, okay? Here's another type of anger. If you're anything like me, I'm patient, I'm slow to anger, but when I do get angry, I push it down and I suppress it to where it just builds up uh, and festers over time, and then I just blow my top and it manifests into something far worse which has gotten me in trouble. <laughs> so this passage is dealing with anger without a cause. So let's continue in verse 23. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your, your gift. Settle matters quickly with your adversary, okay? So we don't want these things to fester. In fact, the Bible says we, want, we, we don't even want to go a day without resolving these things. In, in Ephesians 4, it says, don't let the sun go down with your anger. So we want to resolve these things quickly. Also in James uh, chapter 1, it says, be quick to listen, slow to anger, uh, because the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. So if you do struggle with anger, let me just encourage you. Get first and foremost, get before the Lord and ask for forgiveness of your anger. Also pray to God that he will give you more patience and make amends where necessary. And lastly, don't let the sun go down on another day with your anger. God bless you. Have a great day.